please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. The big story of the day, the churn in the top leadership at top banks. ICICI Bank and Axis Bank remain in focus. Of course, for ICICI Bank, we know the details are now out. Krishnan, ASB of SBI Capital Securities, joins in to analyze the stock impact. Krishnan, hi, good morning. The feedback that we've gotten so far is that now that clarity has emerged, it's just a one-way street on the upside for ICICI Bank. Uh, you concur with that view? Yeah, hi, good morning. Um, I presume uh, in my uh, in my initial remarks with your first channel, I kind of mentioned that uh, we believe that this is the middle ground that the board has board has adopted. Uh, there was very little else that they could have done. This is probably the most logical solution. However, having said that, this is not a clean break, right? Uh, given that you know, Miss Chanda Kochar remains in charge. Um, Mr. Sandeep Bakshi continues to report into her. Once the probe gets over, it leaves it leaves the door open for her to come back. So to that extent, it doesn't really answer the questions around conflicts of interest, etc. So, I mean, I don't I don't see the stock rallying away in a hurry. Uh, it remains a very attractively priced corporate lender, and uh, you know, given earnings catalysts that are likely to play out, I think that remains. Uh, a good investment bet, uh, but it will be range bound, as my said. Range bound, uh, Christian. Morning. Uh, th there's more news today. Uh, all kinds of names are doing the rounds. Uh, how do you uh, look at uh, Mr. Jay Kumar uh, as a candidate to perhaps head uh, Axis Bank? I'm not trying to speculate on whether this will happen or not. I'm just trying to get your evaluation of the man and what he's achieved at BOB, and whether he would be the right fit for Axis. So. I think from a protocol perspective, as I understand, uh, I think, you know, if you have been an MD of a PSU bank, you don't immediately get to lead a private sector bank. So there has to be uh, there has to be a gardening leave in between, etc. So those are elements of protocol, as I understand. Uh, but beyond that, uh, Mr. Jay Kumar does come with very strong credentials. Uh, Access Bank by itself is a fairly strong franchise on the liability side. Uh, there are issues on the asset side which have been addressed over the recent. Uh, there are issues on the asset side which have been addressed over the recent past, and I believe as we as we run through FY19, maybe the first half of FY19 as well. Uh, but it's it's a franchise that's waiting for a very credible CEO to take charge, take charge of all the strengths that already exist in place. To that extent, uh, I wouldn't speculate on uh, who who could be the likely CEO, but I believe any well-credentialed uh, CEO should be a welcome, positive move for shareholders and investors.